So today we're going to work on Fin Intros, Fin Intros Guide to Annuities. Okay, and by annuities, I'm not telling you I'm going to sell you an annuity. I'm just going to tell you what an annuity is. And so basically, all an annuity is is a stream of cash flows, but they're all the same. In the previous lecture, we talked about how we do mixed streams and they're different. This one is going to be all the same. And so. Um, if I were to discount these the same way I discounted the other one, let's say that we were to do it at 8%, 8%, let's go to orange, then I'm going to do the exact same thing I did before, 1 plus 0 0.08, 0 0.08 to the 1, and I'm going to discount this back to the present, which is 64, 64.81. 48 cents. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. Then year two is going to be 1 plus 0 0.08, obviously squared because it's two years. And we're going to do the exact same thing. This turns into 6,001.37. And the same with this guy, 1 plus 0 0.08 cubed because it's three years. And that turns into... 55, 56, 55, 56, 83. We might as well just do them all. 1 plus 0 0.08 to the fourth. That turns into 51, 45, 51, 45, 51, 21, 21. And finally, we do the one in the fifth year. So I'm going to discount this by 8% over five years, that's my five, and that goes all the way back to here, and that gives me 47, 47, 64.08. When I add all of these together, it uh, tells me that my present value for this series is $27,948.90. And 97 cents. So this is my answer. This is my present value of my annuity. And again, the only thing that's different between annuity and the mixed streams of how we get present value is that these guys, the actual cash flows, are all the same. The same, the same, the same. And it basically changes the way we rewrite that cash flow equation. So when I go back, instead of rewriting the equation so that I do each one of the cash flows, my present value is equal to nothing more than my payments, whatever the payment is, because they're all the same, divided by R times, and then this gets a little confusing here, but it's not that big a deal, one minus one plus R to the N, one plus R to the N. So basically what we're saying here is we're gonna discount whatever it is that we're discounting and then I'm going to subtract that difference and just keep it inside. And then I'm going to take this ratio. So this isn't anything more than a simplified version of the previous equation, but noting that all the cash flows are the same. Now let's take a moment and look at these cash flows and see what happens year by year. In the first year, or if I discount by one year, I get 6481. And then in the second year, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. All we're trying to say is that the more time that you have to discount back, as in the case of this 7,000, it gets discounted back five years, the smaller the present value is going to be. And so again, we can't do them all together, but we can do them one at a time. And this is where your calculator, and this is where this equation comes in handy, because with this equation, we can do them all together. And then we can actually, so let's, you know, so actually we can just, why don't we plug it in and work through it real quick. So my payment is 7,000. I have 0 0.08 interest rate, and we're gonna multiply that by one minus one over one plus 0 0.08 to the fifth, right? Because I got five years. So basically this 0 0.08 is gonna discount this guy, and this is gonna discount one by period by period. So let's work this out. I think I have plenty of chalkboard space, so we should be all right. Seven thousand divided by 0 0.08 is equal to 87 80 87 thousand five hundred dollars that seems like a lot let's see what happens and this bracket is going to be one minus one over 
1.08 and I'm going to y to the exit to the power of 5 and that gives me 1.47 so this is going to be 1.47 at the bottom now I'm going to take 1 divided by 1.47 and I'm going to get 0.68 so let me rewrite this 87,500 times 1 minus 0.68, which is 1 minus 0.68 equals 1 minus 0.68 equals 0.32. Well, that should have been intuitive. 87,500 times 0.32 equals, so this is going to be times 87,500, and I get 20, 28,000. There's probably a little rounding error there somewhere, but that's 28,000, and it's really close to this 2794897. So this guy is really close to this one. It's basically the same thing, and we know the equation works. Now, let me go ahead. I'll do a practice problem separately for this on the calculator work. But since we have a little extra time, let's just go ahead and run this in the in the buttons. All right. So let's uh, let's create our cheat sheet. Future value is equal to you know it can't. It's not really a future value. So this is going to be zero. It's zero because we're going to pay it out. Present value is I don't know. I do know what this one is. It's zero. My payment is equal to. Uh, 7,000. My interest is equal to 8%. And the total number of periods is equal to 5. We're compounding annually. Now let's talk about real quick why this is 0. Okay, We've got our 5 years. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm going to get 7,000 here and 7,000 here and 7,000 here and 7,000 here. And I'm going to get 7,000 here. And as soon as I get this last 7,000, the total amount of money in the investment goes to zero. There's no more money to be paid out. The future value of this investment at the very end of this process is zero. There's nothing left. Okay? So let's just go ahead and plug these guys in. We're going to first... We're going to clear all to get started, and then let's do uh, zero future value. My present value is the one I'm looking for, so I put nothing in there. And this time, I have a payment. This payment on the annuity is going to be $7,000, and it's positive or negative? It's positive because it's coming back to me. So I put the $7,000 into my PMT payment. Again, I don't know what my present value is, that's what I'm calculating, but my interest is 8%, so I'll put that in there, and my N is 5, so I'll put 5 years in here, and I solve, now that all my other buttons are filled, I solve for present value, and that is 34,310.75. That's not right. What did we do wrong here? 30, am I running this at 8%? 8%, 8%, 8%, 8%. What am I doing wrong? 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 Ah, payments per year. Payments per year. In this calculator, um, i got to reset it every time. So let me go over to payments per year. Now I have one payment per year, and I'm going to calculate it again. All right, so let me clear out zero for present value. I've got all my three things, and I come over here and hit present value, and I get 27.9%. 49, which is really close to this 28,000. Let me write it down here at the bottom. 27, actually right here, right? Uh, let me get rid of that. This becomes, we'll erase this one. I'll go back to that. This becomes $27,948.97. So, so 28,947 is awfully close to this 28,000, and that is 27,948.97. Well, it's the exact same number as I did in this calculation. So, so that is how we use the calculator to solve an annuity. And all we're doing here is including the new payments.